welcome today we'll discuss the criterion for of self assessment report for nba accreditation this criterion of sar or diploma engineering program deals with students performance and this needs information and document related to students performance and professional activities most of this sub criteria are objective in nature and are based on data and supporting records the total mark allocation for this criterion is 200 the distribution of total marks of 200 among the sub criteria of criterion 4 are like this students enrollment ratio is 20 marks success rates of the students 60 marks academic performance in the first year 25 marks then sub criterion 4.4 is academic performance of the students in the second year 20 marks academic performance in final year is 15 marks then students placement higher studies and entrepreneurship is 40 marks and the professional activities of the students in the institute carries 20 marks students performance under criterion 4 starts with the information about intake of the students under this criterion the program information related to intake has to be given for total of 6 academic sessions including the current academic year intake capacity and enrollment records have to be tabulated in this format as specified by sar guidelines the program information related to students enrollment for different items need to be tabulated as per approved seat capacity and also for actual enrollment including the lateral entry students caoy means current academic year caoy m1 means current academic year minus 1 so the previous academic year similarly caoy m3 means current academic year minus 3 and this batch of student has already passed out from the uh, program or they have completed the program and they are also called the last year graduate similarly this is the this three batches has passed out and last year graduate and this one will be last year graduate minus 1 and this one is last year graduate minus 2 so these are the sanctioned capacity or as approved by the approving agency and number of students admitted through state level counseling is say for example these are the numbers and in this example the institute level quota are zero that means there is no such provision for uh, admission for the institute level quota and suppose there is a provision for the lateral entry students students like iti students can enter into the program and they will enter in the third semester or the second year the total number of students admitted in the program is n1 plus n2 plus n3 and these are the numbers the next set of information that has to be provided in this sar format is this one this tabulation is for the success record of six academic years mentioned above this table is related to the previous one and the without backlog so number of students who have successfully graduated without backlog in any semester or year of the study and 
the year of entry are this current academic year and so on the number of students without backlog in any semester or year of study means no compartment in any course of any semester this batch of student this 39 students are in this still in the first semester first year and these are the students of the previous academic sessions and out of 41 enrolled students 21 has entered into the second year or third semester and these 21 students has completed the year without any backlog that means they have no compartment in first semester as well as second semester similarly say for this batch of students that means those who have already graduated last year graduates 20 numbers of students out of 43 has never get a compartment in throughout the program and in the first year there were 25 such students who did not have any backlog then out of the 25 in the next year 22 have completed the semester uh, year without any backlog and 20 students have never get a compartment in the program or throughout the courses based on those information about intake and successful students the first sub criterion is 4.1 and for this the enrollment ratio has to be calculated from the previous table the n1 plus n2 divided by n uh, this ratio is called the enrollment ratio criterion 4.1 is purely data based if the enrollment strength is more than or equal to 90 percent of sanctioned seats the program is awarded 20 marks in our example from previous tables the enrollment ratios are 39 divided by 4 for the first academic year current academic year and it was 38 divided by 40 in the second academic year uh, previous academic year and 40 divided by 40 in the current academic year minus one so the ratio would come out to be 0 0.975 for current one and the previous one was, was uh, 0 0.95 and this one is one so if we take the average of these three and this uh, ratio will become 0 0.975 so this comes under this row that means the student's enrollment ratio is more than or equal to 90 percent so visiting team will award 20 for such enrollment ratio the data has to be collected and presented as per SAR format in this format and all reports should be ready for visiting team's inspection uh, the visiting team will verify the data by cross-checking the records of the department so this data should be supported by documents in the department preserved in the department sub criterion 4.2 deals with success rate in the stipulated period of the program and this carries 60 marks and under this criterion uh, there is another sub criterion that is the success rate without backlogs in any year of the study and it has 40 marks so nba defines success rate without backlog like this number of students who have passed from the program without backlog divided by number of students admitted in the first year plus admitted via lateral entry who enters into the second year so this success without backlog means the student passes all the semester without any failure throughout the program in other words it means the student completes the program and passes all the courses 
in his first sitting of respective semester or year. For last three pass out batches, the success index, average success index will be uh, the sum of these three success index divided by three. And finally, the success rate without backlog has to be calculated. 40 is the total marks for this and the, the average success index. For a practical example, uh, this is the N1 total number of students and number of students who have passed without backlog in the stipulated period are these ones here. And this will give us uh, these values. So average success index is this much. So in, if uh, uh, this is the situation, then out of 40, the problem will be awarded 21.25 uh, marks out of 40. And uh, as usual, the visiting team will verify the record for the data presented. So sub-criterion 4.2.2 carries 20 marks and this is related to the success rate in stipulated period and the backlog is not, word backlog is not used here. Uh, so the student, number of students who have passed from the program in the stipulated period of the course duration divided by, divided by the number of students admitted. So the success in stipulated period means the students passes all the courses within the stipulated period of three years. Within that period, he or she might have backlogs, but passed all the backlogs within the three years stipulated time. In other words, the student has no backlog at the time of declaration of the final semester or final year result. So in this case also, success index for past three batches need to be computed to find out the average success index and that average success index will give the success rate for related results are like this. Say total number of students in the past in the stipulated period are like this. So in such a situation, the institute program will be awarded 14.3 if the supporting documents are placed before the visiting team of NBA. Academic performance in the first year. NBA identifies performance of students in first year, second year, and final year separately. Courses like uh, physics, uh, chemistry, and mathematics are taken by students of all departments. So therefore, the first year academics consist mostly of common courses across all the problems. Many polytechnics and colleges create separate department for this and coordinate all the common courses. This department is made responsible for organizing the courses, scheduling and conducting internal assessment and so on. Thus, the first year academics may be kept separate and analyzed separately for convenience of academic audit and audit recommendations. This separate audit of first year beds also helps recommendations for the attainment of PO1 that addresses basic knowledge in science and mathematics. But department must be concerned about the students' performance who are in the first year. The concerned department will gather the information from this department to incorporate in the SAR and to be produced before the visiting team. Based on the records, the academic performance level is calculated by using this 2.5 multiplied by average API. And average API is defined as mean of first year grade point average of all successful students 
on a 10-point scale multiplied by successful students and divided by number of students appeared in the examination. In some institutes, uh, grade point average is not used, but the percentage is used. In that case, the mean of first year percentage divided by 10 has to be adopted. Say 78 is the percentage of mean percentage that this divided by 10, that value has to be put in this place and others are same. NBA defines uh, successful students are those who are permitted to proceed to the second year as per regulations of the institute or state council. For example, as per regulations of some, some institute or council, students with three to four backlogs are allowed to proceed to second year or third semester. So in that case, all those students who can join the second year as per institute or SCTE role will be counted for calculation. That means successful students. So this is one sample calculation for academic performance. X is the mean of CGPA of all successful students, or it may also be the mean of percentage of all successful students divided by 10, then total number of successful students Y, and students appeared in the examination is Z. So the API formula is X multiplied by Y divided by Z. The calculation is simple calculation like this one, and this will give us the average API of equal to 3.23. So academic performance level is equal to this one, and in this case, the total of 8.075 marks will be awarded by the visiting team. The data will be verified by the NBA visiting team as documented by the department. The additional documents may include calculation of attainment of first year courses, list of assessment processes, relevance of assessment tools, computation of course attainment level, attainment of POs, etc. The process is generally similar to the process adopted for second and third year. If the courses are compulsory for all departments, the computation of PSO attainments may not be required. Identification of the gap, corrective plan, and actions for improvement of the POs need to be documented. This aspect of evaluation of visiting team is generally of subjective in nature. Criterion 4.4, academic performance in second year, 20 marks. The calculations are same like academic performance in first year, in this case also mean CGPA, cumulative grade point average of all successful students has to be tabulated. And the definition of successful students is same like the first year students, first year academic perf performance. And uh, the API average performance index is X multiplied by Y divided by Z. These calculations are to be carried out by the department and all relevant documents for continuous improvement as mentioned earlier should be made available for the visiting team. So based on these uh, marks, the visiting team will award the marks based on the availability of these supporting documents. Criterion 4.5 academic performance in final year for 15 marks. This is exactly the same calculation like first year and second year. Department need to produce the supporting documents to the visiting team. Criterion 4.6 is the information about placement, higher studies and entrepreneurship. 
40, total 40 months. Number of students placed in companies or government sectors is X. Number of students admitted to higher studies, Y. And number of students turned entrepreneur in respective field is Z. All students who have successfully completed the program may fall under any one of these categories. Number of students placed in companies or government sector through on or off campus interview will be considered here. For students turned entrepreneur, if pass out engaged in family business or in business not related to the field cannot be counted for calculation. So it should be in the field of engineering and technology. Department has to provide the placement data separately for current assessment year one, current assessment year minus two, and current assessment year minus three. In the prescribed format with the name of the program and assessment year. The proof of employment cannot be the offer letter, but uh, some concrete uh, proof like joining letter or some other concrete evidence should be produced. The proof of someone becoming entrepreneur may be the company's letterhead or visiting card or such proof that is acceptable to the visiting team. This is a sample example for calculation of placement index and this sample example for criterion 4.6 is presented here. The last sub-criterion under criterion 4 is the professional activities of the students. Under this, there are three sub-criterion for professional societies, student sector in the institute, and other organized technical events, 10 marks, publication of technical magazines, newsletters, etc., 5 marks, participation in inter-institute or interstate or national level uh, students events, sorry, national level events by students of the program of study. Documentary evidence of all three, all three should be collected and preserved to be presented to the visiting team. The collection and pres preservation can also be done in systematic, uh, soft or electronic form. Professional societies and sectors and relevant activities. Institution of Engineers, Computer Society of India, Institution of Mechanical Engineers, Indian Society for Technical Education, Indian Institute of Industrial Engineering, Institution of Civil Engineers. These are some of the national level professional society and for this there may be student sector and these are only a few of the available professional societies and this is not a complete list but just for example I have mentioned some of this. So thank you and hope this will help you understand about guidance of the self-assessment report for NBA accreditation. And this is not a complete uh, explanation for the provisions of this. So please refer standard literature and follow the NBA documentation available in the website.